Solar farms are an excellent opportunity for nature. So we developed this project uh, and we have the opportunity to look after it for the next 25 years. Um, as only 3% of the land is actually taken up by the solar farm and 97% of it uh, remains as it was, we see this as a great opportunity not just to uh, produce green energy, um, but also to see what we can do to support biodiversity in nature. So what we've done on this site is we've planted 25 acres of wildflowers. Uh, they're a specific type of wildflower uh, mix produced by some scientists called flowerscapes. These wildflowers are designed to, uh, to flower at different times throughout the, uh, throughout the season uh, to provide the right type of food for bees when they need it. You can see now we have uh, two beehives uh, here on, on the solar farm. We're now waiting for the wildflowers to, uh, to, to, to flourish. So uh, hedgehogs are another animal that we uh, are very keen to provide a habitat for. Uh, we've designed the solar farm so that hedgehogs can easily access the site uh, by getting underneath the fences around it and we've also created some, some homes. So what we have here is we have something called a hibernacular which is a home that we've created uh, specifically as a habitat for hibernating uh, animals. So as you can see uh, here, uh, one animal looks like it's dug itself a home. So we have, uh, together with the RSPB, um, acquired some bird boxes uh, designed for different types of birds. Um, we have, uh, for the largest sort of scale end of the bird spectrum, we have some barn owl boxes which are in some trees on the far side of the solar farm. Uh, here we have a, a, a bird home uh, for much smaller birds, as you can see. Uh, and as we come back next year, we expect uh, on top of some of these rafters, we'll find some additional uh, nests created by birds. All animals require water, uh, and so it's necessary to create a constant source of water, which is what we have here. Um, it also enables us to support other forms of, of life, such as aquatic life.